everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out a hair wrapping lotion foam on my braid out to see how well it actually holds up definition wise. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyelle at gmail.com or you can go ahead and fill out the Google form at the link down in my description box. But let's get started. So I went to the store and I decided to buy this foam moisturizing wrapping lotion. I saw a couple of videos where women were using wrapping lotions on like flat twists and twist outs in general. And it seems to provide a pretty good hold and it leaves your hair really soft and bouncy. And so I figured I would try that on my braid out minus the leave-in. So we're not using any leave-in in today's video, literally just the foam wrapping lotion. I've seen lots of women use it, especially when you have like relaxed hairstyles, they'll use it on braids. It just kind of helps, it just is a hold without having to rely on gel or a hairspray. So that's what I decided to do this week. So of course I start out on freshly washed hair, shampoo, deep condition, all that jazz. And then I used a couple squirts of this foam on each of the sections of my hair. I specifically picked up the Bronner Bros Foam Moisturizing Wrapping Lotion. It was just the lotion that they had at the store closest to me. I've seen it a lot throughout my childhood, just through stores in general. So I figured it might be a pretty reliable one to use, maybe a familiar brand. But of course I had my hair sectioned through my wash day as usual. And all I did was I sprayed a little bit of my rosemary water on it to keep my hair, to keep water on my hair. And then I used about between two to four pumps, depending on how large the section was, and then braided up my hair from there. Uh, I didn't want to use a leave-in because I wanted to see how the foaming work, foaming wrap lotion works on its own. And since it says it's moisturizing, again, I wanted to see if, if it would live up to that. And I didn't want the leave-in to cause any sort of weird residue or have you know some reaction with the foam and cause an issue. So I left that out. I combed this through each section and just braided it up, twisting the ends. And the first thing I noticed is it absorbs really, really quick. So obviously it didn't leave any residue. I was very, very happy with that. And then I just let my hair dry for the rest of the day. So I just, so I washed my hair yesterday and the braids are already dry, but they feel super, super smooth. I wasn't sure just how moisturizing the foam was going to be since I've never used a foam before. But right now I'm not disappointed. They don't feel dry or lacking at all. So let's go ahead and undo them now. Here's the first one. It does feel super soft and bouncy and obviously not greasy whatsoever. Let's see if you can, wow, look at that shine on there. That's a lot of shine. Okay. Okay. So here they are out of the twist. I haven't separated them. I just undid every single braid. This looks, wow, it's so soft. It's like, it just feels really soft and like smooth, but without any, you know, residue or any sign of like grease. This is really pretty. I, it's like, I want to separate them, but I don't at the same time. So I don't think I'm going to split them up even more. I just kind of want to leave it, but I'm in, Intrigued to see how well this holds up over the next couple days. So I'll come back and like on day three and we'll take a look because because I want to see how the hold holds up specifically on the front sections here where I tend to lose definition the quickest. The it's also one of the finest parts of my hair is at the very front. 
So whenever I do braids or twist outs, that's usually the first part of my hair that starts to kind of like, just kind of, it almost like straightens out. It's an afro-y texture, but it just kind of straightens out and loses its definition. So I'll come back in three days to kind of see how that starts to look. But, but so far, I really like this. Like, without even any leave-in, it's just really soft and it feels hydrated, like, or moisturized, like, just, it just feels really nice. So, so far I'm happy. But we'll come, we'll come back in three days and we'll kind of see how, how it looks. So tomorrow should be wash day for me. And honestly, it's not too bad. It does feel a little, a little dry, but it's not, like I could probably go another few days without having to re-moisturize, but I haven't had to re-moisturize this entire week. So I'm pretty impressed. I think it's pretty obvious. You can tell that the front has probably lost the most definition. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not like, stick straight like it sometimes can be, but it has lost the most definition out of anywhere else on my head. So let me do a quick turn around here for you guys so you guys can see the back. But obviously after, you know, sleeping on it for a week and not retwisting it, it has got a lot of natural volume. My hair, this is how my hair normally reacts throughout the week. I don't like to retwist my hair. I just don't like putting too much tension or manipulation on my hair. I just kind of let it do its thing after the first initial braid out or twist out. But I am not, I'm not mad at this. Quite honestly, the foam worked a lot better than I thought it would. It definitely kept my hair hydrated, uh, hydrated better than I thought that it would. I do want to try putting a leave, a little bit of leave in and then putting the foam on top just to see how it works. See if maybe it, my hair will hold moisture longer or just be moisturized longer throughout the week. I'm not mad at this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment of mine and trying something a little bit different. Let me know your thoughts or your experiences with using a hair mousse on your natural hair, not just relaxed hair. I hope that you enjoyed. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.